Okay. First off, I had to start with the stupid stuff, okay? Yeah. So, um, 50 fun facts about you. Kind of 50? 50. Oh. It's going to be verbal ping pong. Cool. Okay. Um, what's your favorite album? Album. Uh, of all time? Uh, of all time. Uh, if, it's, if we're speaking hip-hop, I would say Illmatic still to this day. Uh, it's nothing, nothing uh, out of the ordinary. I just, I just love that album. I think it's flawless. Um, yeah, I'm at it. Okay, okay. Fave color. Blue. Fave food. Was pork chops for a long time. Uh, I don't know. Chicken. I'm a chicken. <laughs> Do you know what? That's such a stereotype. I know. Okay. Chris Rock is I, gonna I won't like... say. I won't say watermelon. <laughs> okay. But I do um... love chicken. Have you ever had chicken waffles? I've never had chicken waffles. I've had chicken and waffles. It's, it's is, is that the same? Chicken no, I don't think there? it's chicken waffles. I think that it's chicken and waffles. Okay. Yeah. Because people say like chicken waffles. I'm like, I'm yeah, gonna try that. It's like it's a it's a meal that uh, they serve in California and Atlanta. Big so I'll um, never never ever try it. With concoction and it's not they don't go together well. It's okay. It's just something they do. Okay. Uh, Favorite drink. Uh, Hennessy. Uh, okay, fave aftershave cologne. I don't use aftershave cologne. Look at my beard. No, but come on, you don't have your scent. I mean, okay. I use the cologne. I, I use Unforgivable. Okay, who's uh, that by? Sean John. Uh, oh. Diddy Combs. Oh, of course. Sean Diddy Combs. Of course. <laughs> I like Angel for Men. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, fave city in the world. <sighs> Law Town, Mass. That's my. That's where I was born and raised. Boston. Lawrence, Lawrence, Boston, whatever. Okay, uh, fake saying, number Say. seven. Fake saying, like at, at the moment, at the moment, yeah, that real, real, yeah. Um, <laughs> but nah, my favorite saying is, um, you know what I'm saying? You know Do what I'm saying? And at this point in time, I don't. But we will get to that. No, you I'm know kidding. What I'm, I'm kidding. Okay. Um, do you know how to cook? Yes, very well, actually. Very. Oh, okay. Yeah. Even breakfast. Yeah, I, I actually I, I chef up some some good eggs. Okay. I, I can do I can do um you know eggs, waffles, pancakes, whatever. Do you have a dish that you're? I have children. For? I have two boys, so like it's natural that yeah, I'm gonna be able to cook. No, it's not natural. A lot of yes, people it don't is know natural. How to cook. You know what I'm saying? We're not living microwave. in we're not living in the 1800s like where they'd be like yeah the women are gonna cook yeah. Do you know how many guys don't know how to cook? Yeah, I think it's unfortunate. It's 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 very relaxing as well. I enjoy it. Uh, do you have a dish you're famous for that everyone's like, we're coming over to your Baked friend? tilapia. What is that? Baked tilapia. It's a fish. Um, uh -huh. I either fried or I grill it. Uh -huh. I grill it um, with a um, with a different with a with a uh, pineapple salsa or or with um, tomato like a tomato base, mm -hmm. tomato and onion base. So yeah, I mean I'm not action Bronson, but I can I can cook. What's the most dangerous district street in your neighborhood? Albeit street. My current neighborhood? Yeah. Like um, the street that you don't we're just talking. Uh, we're just talking about, I don't know about street, but like, um, you know, Overtown, Overtown, um, or, or, or Little Haiti or Little Havana. I live, in, I live in South Florida, so Miami is the hood hood. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I, I grew up in Long Town, Mass, and I would say Lowell Street's pretty dangerous. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the first girl you kissed was? Peel oranges. I hate it. You don't. I hate getting the oranges underneath my skin. I hate the. I hate the whole feeling of it. I love orange juice, freshly, freshly squeezed uh -huh. without the pulp. Uh -huh. But I hate peeling oranges. Uh, do you go to the gym? Nah, I used to. I don't go anymore. Why? Tell me the fascination with the gym. Maybe it's a guy thing. I don't know. I don't, know. I, I don't go to the gym, so. Okay. Um, what's the one thing you do better than anyone else in your family? Rap. <laughs> okay, is racism alive and well? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Have you ever run a red light? Hell yeah. Okay, have you ever done drugs? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, there was a yes or no, um, because we're at number I 17. I get you, yeah. <laughs> uh, have you ever been to prison? Uh, define been to prison. <laughs> been to prison. Have right? I ever been locked up in a jail cell? No, been like prison, prison. No, I never did a bit. Okay. No. Uh, would you date a feminist? No. 
Uh, do you like to read? Love to read. Fave movie? I would think that you would say fave book, but after what if I love to read? <laughs> okay, fave movie. Uh, eh, I don't know. Coming to America, really. I mean, I don't have a fave, fave movie, really. Uh, Memento, maybe. Memento. I saw the first three minutes and turned it off. Too bloody. I, that, that's either here Memento? or Memento? Yeah. Really? Christopher Nolan, great um, director. I love Guy Pearce. He's Australian. Oh, he is, he is a great, great actor. He started on on a cheesy, he was, uh, he used to be on Neighbours, which was like a cheesy TV series. Everybody starts off on a cheesy <laughs> something. Well, at least it wasn't the bold and the beautiful. Okay, yeah. uh, fave actor. Uh, currently, Ryan Gosling. Uh, fave actress. <sighs> um... Bassett. Okay. Um, Fave baby making track. Um, let's see. I, I like a lot. So, I mean, uh, I don't know. I like um, anything from D'Angelo, but um, I'm trying to think of some Stevie records that are pretty um, awesome to make love to. Uh, let's go with sexual healing. Oh, Cliche. Marvin Gaye. Cliche. Okay. Marvin Gaye, uh, sensual. Music sensual. Who's the biggest player you know? Player? Drop, yeah. Drop, drop, drop a name like player, meaning ladies man, Casanova. Oh, ladies man. Uh huh. I don't know. I don't know a bunch of ladies man. These dudes don't know how to get no females. <laughs> okay. Uh, girls with tats and piercings, hot or not? Sex. Okay. Uh, Kojak, Hitler, or Shaft pussy? Kojak. <laughs> Hitler. Bald. Oh, well, it's definitely not the middle one. Uh, or, Shaft. Bushy. <laughs> I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Kojak, but like, quite honestly, uh -huh. I, I don't mind the bush. Okay, that's that's cool. Fake sports to play or watch? Basketball. Either or. Mm-hmm. What's the most expensive thing you've ever bought? Yeah, most expensive thing. Either for yourself or somebody else. I don't buy expensive things. I don't. Uh, my tabs don't run high. I mean, I, I had a watch bought for me that was pretty expensive, but. Okay. No. If you could have any director direct a video for you, who would it be? Rick Cordero. Uh, what? What is he famous for? I'm sorry, I don't he know. Does, I don't know he does. He does a lot of hip hop. He um, does a lot of hip hop. He does a lot of hip hop okay. video. Yeah. Um. At number thirty, how many times a day do you brush your teeth? Once. Very bad. And my teeth, are, my teeth are destroyed. I think yeah, you have nicer bad. teeth than me, but okay. Yeah. What makes you nervous? Thirty-one. Um, seeing my kids scared. Okay. What are three things that you hate about women? When they open up their mouth too too much mm -hmm. and yap, um, and then when they never close their mouth, continue to yap. Mm -hmm. That's two, I guess. And um. Number three? When they like yap too much during sex. Well, don't you like a vocal woman? Yeah, but like you could just moan and groan without running your mouth so much. <laughs> so you don't like women Being shouting? like, I don't like a woman who like, you know what I'm saying, very like aggressive, like, oh, do this, do that. Like, oh, okay. So she can't shout instructions at you. Yeah. I'm, I'm with this. I, don't need, I don't need that instruction. You shit. heard it. You heard it first. Okay. What are three things that you hate about men? Um, messiness. Um, they more they more gossipy than females, and um, I don't know. Um, backstabbing. Okay, your worst show to date was in. I did a show. Actually, no, nah, that wasn't even a bad show. I'll be honest with you. Like from, like a lot of people might say, like you know, if a show's empty, it's their worst mm -hmm. show. But I, I quite I, I honestly find that a lot of times I do. Sh shows with very little people and they turn out to be some of the better shows because mm -hmm. I get to interact and one thing I'm known for is interacting mm -hmm. with, with my crowd so like I don't really have bad shows I don't care what it is I'm going to find a way to make it a great show then tell me uh, your best date your best show to date was in either city or country like the one that just blew you out of the water you said okay wow I, I, for a period it, like it's, it's crazy because like uh, I did a show in Warsaw Poland that was uh -huh. really amazing and, and I loved it. It was a show-off tour. It was myself, Static, Terminology, and, and DJ Deadeye. 
and I loved that show. Mm -hmm. um, but then I did, I, and that was my favorite for a period of time, but then I did Athens, Greece, and they wilded out a little more. Um, you know, it was in the height of like, you know, like the turmoil in terms of like, you know, their, their crisis as mm -hmm. far as the finances and what have you. And it just, it just was a period of revolution. So I just felt you like felt it. Uh, uh, invigorated. Okay. So it was amazing. The definition of underground hip hop. What is underground hip hop? Your definition, personal. Raw, unashamed, 100% authentic, mm -hmm. creative. Okay. Finish this sentence. Mainstrip, uh, mainstrip, mainstream. Okay. Woo. Okay. Uh, mind in the gutter. Mainstream hip hop is. Uh, good and bad. You know, you get some. You get some great artists mm -hmm. from mainstream, and you get some some terrible artists. 38. The worst pickup line you've ever heard was, it can either be from a guy or a girl. Yo. Um, I don't know, like, I, I don't know, there's a lot of those corny, like, corny, like, um, cliche joints. I don't, I don't really use them or hear them really too much. I can't think of one. Let me come back to it. Okay, uh, 39. Who gets more groupies, rock stars or rap stars? Rock stars. You're kidding. Oh, of course. Rock stars get way more groupies than rappers, but I'm a rock star, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, uh, your favorite place to shop is? I'm not a shopaholic, honestly, but I'm rocking K1X. Shout out to K1X for showing me the support. You know what I mean? I rock with them, and I also rock with Mass Denim out of Warsaw, Poland, so uh, okay. I rock with them. Uh, finish this sentence. I would never, for money. Have sex for money. You would never do it? No. Even if the chick was just incredible, just gorgeous. I would never have sex for money. Okay, okay. End of story. Finish this sentence. People don't know that I love the show Friends. Okay. Um, marriage is atrocious for me. Okay. Uh, have you ever been in a fist fight? Sure. Okay. One some lost. Uh, do you have a porno collection and how extensive is it? I mean, I used to have a porno collection, but now I just tend to like, you know, surf the internet, uh, the World Wide Web. It's it's such an amazing place to find a plethora of, of, of porn. And yes, I, I do indulge in okay. porn. I love porn. Okay. Shout out to all the porn stars I know. And all the ones you have yet to meet. Uh, 46. Abortion is... Trouble, uh, troubling um, memory in my mind. Okay. Uh, 47. When I'm 60, I'll be... A player. 48. Uh, what are your goals for the coming year? I plan to drop two more albums. Well, actually, I plan to drop my two albums that I have out. Uh, Revolution Cocktail, July 2nd, followed by Eyes Watching God with Hazardous Sounds. Um... I just plan to have an amazing year. I'm going to tour. I'm going to do Canada. I'll be back in Europe in October. And uh, I'm going to do a United States tour with Ed OG. So summer on Smash, back to touring in the fall again. 49, we're almost at the end. Where do you want to be in 10 years' time? 10 years, I want to be a, a dad who has given his kids every every imaginable memory that they, mm -hmm. they, they want to um, see fulfilled. And um, I just want to be a great father spending that time. That's the most important thing to me. And the last one, number 50, tell me a secret. It's not going to be a secret once this hits the, the internet. Um, but a secret. Um, it could be of the day, of the year. Uh, a secret. Let me think of it. Let me think of a secret. Um, oh, I once, I once waxed my nose. <sighs> bad experience. Okay. Very bad experience. <laughs> I have very big nostrils, so, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, Did it I'm hurt? a black man. No. Did it hurt? Huh? Did it hurt? Oh, it hurt. Yeah, it was, I, my, um, the mother of my kids, I was married to her for close to, um, 11 years almost, um, and she's a esthetician. She, like, she does waxes. Well, she doesn't do it anymore, but she used to. Um, now she's in the office, but, like, she was in training and she wanted to try it on me. I told her I didn't want to do it, and she did it anyway, and now you know I regret what we it. Go through. I, no. I, I immediately regretted it. Yeah. Uh, just a few questions. Um, here, there, and everywhere. Word. Um, hold on, because I have something for you as well. Do it. Um, meet Corey Christie. 
This is Along Came, this was the first track on Along Came The Chosen. Uh, how would you, would you change anything in, on that track in 2013? If you had nah, to do like, I'm, part two? No, nah, I wouldn't change anything. I'm, I'm happy the way that came out. Um, that was actually a, a song I did with my brother from the Schizophrenics, Eric Brown, who just passed away last year. Um, he he um, was paralyzed um, from the waist down um, in an accident, and um, you know, saying he just passed away. So rest in peace, Eric Brown. Eb, we love you. Definitely. And um, nah, me, Corey Christie is that, that's that joint. Okay. Um, I was with Energy just a moment ago, and I basically mm -hmm. made a comment that uh, I believe rappers are the gladiators of our times. Uh, because you kind of make certain things very public. Um, you touch upon certain issues that maybe people haven't thought about or haven't seen through your eyes. Uh, good assumption, wrong assumption, taking it way too deep. No, I think uh, it's a great assumption. I, I would, I would, or also, throw, or I would, you want to I would also throw comedians in there, actually. Uh -huh. um, you know, those those like um, George Carlin and, mm -hmm. and Richard oh Pryor love, and um, Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle like uh, they gladiators as well like mm -hmm. you know I think I think poets griots and in in the art form known as comedy mm -hmm. like the way we're able to engage an audience and um, and capture like certain feelings and emotions in people be it happiness sadness you know laughter mm -hmm. Uh, whatever it may be, like we're able to like you know paint a vivid image um, through our art form. So like I gotta give it up to comedians. I'm a big fan um, of comedians, and, and Edel's actually a big fan. I just found that out of a comedian. So like I would I would say yeah, them too. But artists like you are also you have that warrior instinct. You are the, these kind of lyrical warriors. Uh, what do you think of artists that uh, are only in it for the money, and they will say anything? just to get the money, and they basically just want to shed blood, but there's no heart behind it. I, I mean, it's I don't... kind of more a gimmick to them. I don't have a problem with anybody doing it for money, like, mm -hmm. if that's their goal. I mean, you work you work a nine-to-five for money. Mm -hmm. What I don't like is, like, um, stories that are... Stories and, 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 and visuals that are painted for for the youth mm -hmm. that kind of, like, lead them astray. Like, give them a falsified hope of what mm -hmm. life really is. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I don't want my sons to listen to songs that, like, Rick Ross or Gucci Mane or, or whoever else uh, might find as non-offensive um, and, and create a certain record that, like, resonates with my son because that's what's popular for mm -hmm. the moment. But it actually raises my son in the, in the wrong way. That's why, you know, Charles Barkley had said a, a, a long time ago that he was not a role model. He is a role model. Once you're in the spotlight... Once you're put in a certain position, then you are forced to be aware of what you have to say. We, I, I mean, what you do and what you say. Um, we have freedom of speech, you know, and, and we can speak our minds, but we do still have to be accountable, held accountable for the things we say. Okay. How important, how important is lyricism to you? And uh, is there an ideal, albeit magic, number of bars that defines the perfect, you know, that makes the perfect joint? Do you have, like, a formula that you stick to? I've I've been writing so long that like a sixteen can be formatted in like in my writing without me really counting the bars anymore. I don't count bars anymore. I just know when that sixteen is is there. Mm -hmm. I know when I've done sixteen bars. Um, there's no ideal number for me, but I mean sixteen is definitive of like hip hop. You know, so so I'd say the sixteen. Okay. How important is your career, and do you always put it first? No, no I mean God and my family come before anything. Um, you know, uh, the joy and laughter that they bring are gonna long, um, are gonna live long beyond what like mm -hmm. my career can do for me. I do my career because it is something that I'm passionate about. And it's what I love. However, nothing, nothing accounts. I mean, nothing, nothing can outlast what Isaiah and Josiah do for me. You know. Uh, do the opinions of your peers? Um or be it people that you look up to um, musically, influence your musical journey or artistic choices? I mean, yeah, I, I would say so. Like, I wouldn't say that, like, they, they define what, like, what choices I make, but I think we all, by communicating, mm -hmm. um, you know, our personal story, our per excuse me, our personal stories and, 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 and struggles and, and, and having that conversation uh, with another individual, we are affected by what we hear from another individual, what they relate to, their stories, their struggles. Uh, I have a homie who 
we've been homies since yay high, like twenty something years, and the lifestyle that he's he's um, molded for himself that that has has taken shape has played an integral part in my bars. You know, even though you know, like, like I'm I'm my own person, his life's journey plays an integral role in in, in what I have to say in my music. So so does my ex wife. So does like any individual I come across. If they say something meaningful, if they say something poignant, po uh, if they say something that you know stands out or like s scars me, mm -hmm. it's gonna affect me to like write in a certain manner. Um. I wanted to ask you, are you a kind of a Joe Budden type of lyricist, would you say, to where whoever stands in your way or whoever, quote unquote, like you just said, you feel scars you, disses you, that you lash out at them? I wouldn't, say, I wouldn't say lash out, and I, I mean, I don't know Joe, Bud Joe Budden's choice of um, character, personality, but for me, I have a tendency to like utilize whatever I, whatever I deal with in my life, mm -hmm. in my music. Um, I, I, I learned from watching Tupac and seeing how whatever emotion like was conveyed in his life was conveyed in his music. You know, um, my music and my life are one and the same. Like I, t I speak about my ch children consistently. I consistently speak about my relationships, be them the mm -hmm. the ones that have failed or the ones that have been successful. Um, my mistakes, my trials and tribulations, everything I, I put before um, before the general public, and you know. All would eyes you, on me, it's uh, no problem. Would you ever do a show like Love and Hip Hop if they did like the Boston edition? I don't know, maybe. My, maybe. I don't live in Boston though. Like I, well, yeah, but okay, if they, if may, they, maybe if they did maybe if they did the, the, the Hollywood or, or Miami edition. But would you would you kind of maybe, want it out there? Maybe. maybe. I mean it's it depends. Maybe. It depends on like what it is. Like there's certain there's certain things that I feel like um can catapult you to, to a certain level. Mm -hmm. Of notoriety, and that's I mean that's ultimately what we all you know strive for, as well as you know trying to like put out quality material. We want to get out to to as many of the masses as possible. So like, I, I wouldn't be adverse to like being on a on a reality show if it was tasteful and and, and something I'd respect. Uh, finishing up, uh, how is touring in Europe different, or is it than touring in the states? Much different. Uh, I think there's a larger respect for the culture in in Europe. Um, I think. Wow. I continue to feel. Lot. I continue to feel like in the U.S. Like we have been, um, we have been spoiled mm -hmm. to the utmost with like, you know. So so many so many um, of the, like the firsts that mm -hmm. like you know, it's it's. It's kind of it's kind of stupid, but like individuals are very trendy and and, and um, you know following what's what's popping at that time. And I'm not saying that doesn't occur here, but it it it, it, it feels more um, throwback here. Whereas in the states, it's like oh yeah, it's more popping to like follow what the newest trend is. And the newest trend isn't like you know that that classic golden era hip hop. So I don't think um, I don't think uh, the states are um, as on point with what I do as 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 your official. Okay, thank you so much for your time. Can oh, you give you. a shout out to the fans and Sabotage Entertainment? S sabotage. 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 Okay. What up, what up? It's your boy R to the E K to the S. I gotta shout out Sabotage for like showing the love and support to your boy, Rhythmatic Eternal King Supreme, show off's own. I want that real, I rock with Subotage, you already know. Deuces! <laughs>